So I saw this dress from Urban Outfitters, and it's pretty, right? But it's $59, so I'm gonna make my own. Uh, this zipper costs about $7, but it's really long, and you can get a shorter one for cheaper. And also some ribbon, which you can get from Dollar Tree, which apparently you can only buy in bulk online, but you can probably find it in stores. And also fabric, which costs about maybe eight to ten dollars ish so i'm gonna say it's about sixteen dollars materials you'll need to make this dress include some fabric that you like uh this is flannel fabric but it's a little bit thick for summer but i can still endure it and some scrap fabric so we don't mess up on our real expensive fabric and a zipper preferably invisible Mine is really long, but you don't have to make it that long. Some chalk to trace out our designs and patterns on the fabric. Some safety pins. Some regular pins to pin together our fabric. Some fabric scissors. Don't use regular scissors, it won't work that well. And also some tape measuring tape, ta tape measure, and maybe some adjustable bra straps. So the plan is to make this gathered bus thing and then make the rest of the dress in one piece of fabric. So to get started, you're going to measure yourself right under your bust and along your waist and also at your hips. So the first thing we're going to do is cut out these bust pieces on scrap fabric to practice. So you're going to draw out this kind of strawberry looking shape, but a fat strawberry. And then you're going to cut that out. Because the bust is gathered on the original dress, we're going to have to size it up 1.5 to 2 times. So to do that, I'm just drawing around the piece that I just cut out, but so it's bigger. And then you're going to cut that out. So now you're going to create uh, the gathering on your deformed strawberry. And so it's about the size of the original cutout that we made. To do that, you're going to set your sewing machine to the longest stitch possible. Now remember not to backstitch at the beginning or end of the curved edge where you sewed. Uh, and you're going to distribute the gathers so it's about the same size as the original cutout we made. Now that we kind of know what we're doing, we're going to do the same thing on the real fabric. So I'm cutting out four bust pieces, uh, but it's a little bit bigger than the practice that we just did. And you're going to trace that and cut it out. Then you're going to put the pairs right sides together and sew along the edge, but you're going to leave an opening at the top. And you're going to turn your stitch length back to the original one. Then we're going to gather again by pulling on the strings, not back stitching at the beginning or end and you're going to distribute the gathers. And if you follow the instructions, then we're going to tie off the ends of the strings so it doesn't come undone since we didn't backstitch. Now back to measuring. So you're going to measure from the bottom of your bust down to your waist. And then from your waist down to your hips. And then from your hips to where you want the dress to end.
And once that's written down, it should look something like this, but remember to add enough seam allowance, so about two inches when you're cutting out the pieces. So to create that weird triangle situation in the front, you're going to take your bust pieces that you made and trace it so there's the two curves in the middle. And then you're gonna do a straight edge at the ends. Uh, you'll see why later. Then I started to do that and also measure out all my measurements using the chalk. Be quiet! <laughs> I'm recording. And so you're going to measure out all your measurements onto your piece of fabric. So I just kind of, I, I use the measuring tape but I still kind of eyeballed it. marking on the fabric for a while but like at this point I was confused and I didn't want there to be not enough fabric to cover my body and to mess up and having to add in more fabric so I just kind of cut out two rectangles that was definitely more than enough to cover my front and my back. So you're going to want to cut out two rectangles in total, one in the front, one in the back, and the front should have this bust cut out. Then with some pins, you're going to want to pin the bust pieces to the front piece rectangle thing with the right sides together. And for that little curve at the end, you're just going to kind of rotate your bust piece so it kind of aligns with the edge of that curve thing so you want it all to kind of look like what is on screen and this is why that straight edge is important Also, you want to make sure that the bust pieces meet in the middle, but they don't overlap. If they overlap, it's going to create a weird kind of shape uh, that's different from kind of like the V-neck, the heart-shaped neckline, I guess. After everything is pinned into place, you're going to sew along where you pinned so everything is attached. Then for the rest of the top of the front, you're going to create a double roll hem on the straight edges by folding down the fabric twice, pinning it in place, and sewing it. Then you're also going to create a double roll hem on the top of the back rectangle, and you're going to do that by folding it down twice, pinning it in place, and sewing it. And then so the edges don't get frayed and undone, you're going to do a double reeled hem 
on all of the sides. So you're gonna hem four places in total here. After that, you're going to try it on inside out and pin it in place where you want it to fit. So what I'm showing here is that the top of the back should align with about an inch down from the front bust triangle. And then you're going to sew that. I didn't get it exactly to how I want it to fit the first time, so I'm trying it on again inside out and pinning and sewing. Then I'm trying it on again one last time to make sure it fits, and this time I'm trying it on the right side. So my front and back are kind of asymmetrical so I'm gonna chop it off so it so it's about the same length but I want to keep that little the tiny mini slit in the side so I'm just gonna cut that and also maybe take in the sides a little bit. So here is me cutting off that extra fabric and then I'm doing a double rolled hem on both ends so it won't come undone. Next is the zipper, which is probably the hardest part of this project, so I was procrastinating doing it for about an hour. So first thing, you're going to use your zipper as a guide and you're going to cut down the middle of the back of the dress to see, well, to have enough space to put your zipper. I'm pinning the zipper to the fabric right sides together and I'm showing where I'm stopping the sewing. So right above the zipper pull. And you're going to switch out your sewing foot to a zipper foot if you have one. Next, I'm doing the other side of the zipper to the other side of the fabric and pinning it together, right sides together. And this is definitely not the right way to do it, but I'm just folding down the ends of the zipper. And also at the very bottom, I'm trying to manipulate the fabric so it covers up as much as the bottom of the zipper as possible. And I'm doing that by hand sewing. Here's an update on the zipper. I did a little zigzag stitch that covers the edge of the zipper and also the fabric so it doesn't come undone. And then you're going to take some strips of fabric and put them right sides together along the ends. And also we're going to fold it in half the right sides together and do a straight stitch down the side. I'm taking a safety pin to turn that long strip of fabric inside out. just 
cut it up so there's enough for two straps and the ribbon and so i'm just tucking in the ends of the top and putting the strap in place and you're gonna sew that start your computations now originally i was going to use this strip of fabric to create the ribbon as well but it's thick like thick with three C's so I had to use some craft ribbon laying around so I'm just cutting that to length after I tie it into a bow and I'm taking a lighter to burn the edges so the fraying stops And I was also originally going to make the straps adjustable by using some old adjustable things from a bra, but the strip is way too thick, so I couldn't use that. Now here, I'm just putting the ribbon in place and you want it to be pinched in when you're sewing it so i'm going to be hand sewing it for more control now the final step to this dress which thank god because it's taking forever to record this voiceover you're going to try your dress on backwards and take your straps and pin it where you want them to end and sew it and here is the final reveal how this dress turned out so thank you for watching and please subscribe maybe 